This is a cable lug. And this, for example, is a crimping tool for a cable lug. And this is a crimping tool for a cable lug. This is not a crimping tool. And this is not a crimping tool. Sorry. Just mentioning this because on YouTube you find some quite interesting ideas on how to connect this to this. For example, I watched this video. It's called uh, How to Make Battery Cables the Right Way and the Easy Way. <laughs> So don't get me wrong, this might not be a bad connection and if you don't have a crimping tool this might be the only solution for you. So just check out the link in the description. In the meantime you can buy crimping tools for a very good price, so just have a look at a few of them. Well let's start with the hammer lug crimper tool. Just put in the cable lug and then give it a good smack with the hammer. Well a little bit more. Too much. I will put another video in the description of the channel Cut, Weld and Grind, they show you how to do it right. Let's move on with the hydraulic hand crimping tool and why I don't like them. Well, I'm sure you understand what I mean. They can make very good crimps, but they are very slow. We are looking for something faster. For example, this here is a very popular cable crimping tool. And you can make good crimps with it. But there is a warning as well. You absolutely need the right cable lugs for the correctly sized cable. And as you can see, the dies of this crimper are in millimeter. If you're working with American wire gauge, you have this little table here. The problem is, it's not quite right. Let's have a quick look under Wikipedia, under wire gauge. There we find a very complete table. Just click on it and scroll over the number you're interested in. And here you can see already that 8AWG only has 8 mm square and not 10. Number 6 has 13 mm and not 16. And number 4 has 21 instead of 25 mm square. And then instead of this you might get something like this. Uh oh. Car audio fabrication has a good theory why this happens. And it's because one part of the plier is closing before the other. And like this pushing the lug slightly out of the die. Something like this can't happen with other pliers that work differently. This is exactly the kind of plier I like to use. You can easily adjust it and it doesn't really matter if the lug is a little bit too big for the cable. For example, I crimped a 95mm lug on a 50mm square cable that's two sizes bigger. And I think the result is not bad at all. I cut it in half in order to look how it looks from inside. What do you think? If you want, just write something in the comments. The only disadvantage, I think, is that it's a little bit too heavy for the small cable sizes, like 10mm or 60mm. Or sometimes I have to work on a step ladder and uh, connect these cable lugs under tension. So I was looking for a less heavy plier. And this is what I found. The labeling 8, 14, 22, 38 is a little bit strange. It has nothing to do with American wire gauge or the millimeter square we are using in Europe. But the way the pliers are built, it doesn't matter, all common sizes between 10 and 15 mm square fit in. I think the result is pretty good. I cut it apart in order to look inside and I'm pretty happy with the result. Okay friends, I think that's all you need to know in order to crimp cable lugs. If you like the video, or if you have a different opinion about something I just said in this video, just write it in the comments. I really appreciate it. And if you like, subscribe.